Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting time in our class. So here we have we have a question that said 50 cm cube of hydrogen was es explored with 20 cm cube of oxygen at uh, 100 degrees Celsius and one atmos atmosphere pressure. It said calculate the volume of the total residual gas. Now, this is just, we we'll look at the chemical equation involved. This is the chemical equation involved in this reaction. From this, from this chemical equation, what you can see here is one, that two cm cube of what? I, um, 2 cm cube of oxygen combined with 1 cm cube of 2 cm cube of hydrogen combined with 1 cm cube of oxygen to give us 2 cm cube of water. So from this chemical equation, from the equation we have here, I said that 20 cm cube of oxygen and we have 50 cm cube of what? 50 cm cube of what? Um, hydrogen. From here, we need to find out the first thing you will do here is to find out the volume of it means that if we're going to find out the volume of hydrogen that combined with 20 cm cube of um, oxygen. Now looking at this now, um, we know that from this reaction we say that it means that 20 if one cm cube, one cm cube of oxygen will combine with two cm cube of what? Um, hydrogen, 2 cm cube of hydrogen, that means 20 cm cube of oxygen will then combine with 2 over 1 times 20 of what hydrogen, that will give us 40 cm cube of what hydrogen. Now what it means is that during this chemical reaction, 40 cm cube of hydrogen will be uh, used up. That means the remaining hydrogen will then be 40, 50 minus 40 will have 10 cm cube. We'll keep it here because it's part of the residual um, gas that we need. So the next one that happens here from this chemical equation, you find out that 20 cm cube of um, 2 cm cube of um, oxygen will produce 2 cm cube of steam. Then, then, since we have a, since it will react with 40, since it reacts with 40, that means 40 cm cube of what? Hydrogen is required to bond with 20 cm cube of this to give us, um, but now let's go back. 2 cm cube of hydrogen will produce um, 2 cm cube of what? Steam. So since 20 cm cube of this produce a uh, required 40 cm cube of oxygen, it simply means from this chemical equation we're looking at, it simply means that it will also produce 40, 40 cm cube of what? Steam. It means that it's going to produce that because based on that 40 cm cube of, from this chemical equation, 40 cm cube of this oxygen will produce what? 40 cm cube of, of steam. So that it will maintain the, the Lusak's um, law that states that they do so in simple ratio with one another. You understand? The ratio of their volume will always be maintained from the chemical equation. Now, that means from there, from there now, what it means that remember we have. We have already existing um, unused um, 10 cm cube of what, hydrogen unused. Then the steam, look, this is um, 100 degrees Celsius, that means water. Water is in form of steam, that means it's, it's a gas, it's gaseous state at this temperature, one um, pressure, one atmosphere. It means that water remains to be a, 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 a steam. So that means since it produces 40 cm cube of 40 cm cube of what? Of what? Steam. 
steam. That means the total residual gas that is the water produced, steam produced, and what unused hydrogen will give us. So, when you add it up together, we have what 50 cm cube of what um, residual, residual gases. Yeah, we have a similar um, calculation. If you go back to our uh, videos, you'll be able to get more details about this. And I would like you to leave a comment. Feel free to say what you have in your mind. And then you can also share our, share our, our video and also like it. I will, I'll be so happy to hear from you. Feel free to say whatever you want to say about the video you just watched. And then um, I hope to see you again. Thank you so much.